a massive burn and some positive price movement. Terra Luna Classic starting to move up 2% right now on the day. We're going to take a look at exactly what that burn is. What does it mean for the price? And what else is coming around the corner for Terra Luna Classic? This one's a good one. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything. Smash a like on this video and let's get into it. So here we go. Terra Luna Classic currently sits all the ones 2.43% ahead of Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin has had a bit of a turbulent day. Kind of feels like it's leveled off about 29.3. But Luna Classic starting to move. Volume up at 51 million. 29% increase. Market cap still that $655 million right now. But we did see a pretty interesting spike on the burns. So again, you see here, looking at these kind of these burns that came in if we take a look at about two o'clock my time this afternoon we saw a 32.7 million terra luna classic burn come in followed quite sharply after an 89.2 million burn and then it kind of filtered out 17 million 7 million and then kind of back to normal and you'll see that is a stark difference to what we've had across a number of days if not weeks the last time we had anything of any real value was that binance burn now what's really interesting as i was kind of looking Looking through this and trying to understand exactly what it is was that when you come to the lunk penguin site there's nothing on here showcasing this burn there's no you know it's a significant amount about 130 million has gone through and we can't really see it on here so it leads us to believe and the conclusion must be that it's actually an on-chain tax and that's what's come out of it that we see an on-chain tax it should filter through eventually into some of these numbers but we can sort of say that it's part of that tax and that showcases how much realistically could burn if we had the massive volume running through Terra Luna Classic. So when we talk about building out decentralized applications and equally trying to market and brand the ecosystem, that is the potential prize on the table. You know, some big burns we come through. You look at that 157.8 million Terra Luna Classic, and we are around the corner from that Binance burn. We're about two days away from the Binance burn, which again, looking at my calculations, and I've got a full video explaining it, it's sort of going to come in, I think, around two, two and a half billion, which isn't the biggest, but I've volume if we look at our historical data hasn't been the biggest over the course of the last month you can see there 38 million 61 36 39 our last time we broke 100 was all the way down here back on the 7th of april so it's definitely not going to be the biggest burn we've seen but nevertheless it is a continuous burn i think that is incredibly important as we kind of work through now what else do we have and i talked a little bit about this in my video yesterday but the ustc incremental repeg looks like this is going to pass now it is 24 hours left to vote. Abstain has no relevance on it, but could we see a big validator come in and vote? No, yes. However, it does certainly seem like it's going to go through. Remember, this is one of those proposals that is going to be put to work very, very quickly once this passes. It's going to be put to work straight away, and actually it's going to be very interesting to see how this starts to do. One of the things I talked about in my previous video was that we need to see price movement or burns increase. Well, we've started very strong in terms of an extra burn increase, and likewise, when we take a look at the price, we are seeing the price start to move. So we're on the four-hour chart here. You see this channel we've got. It is an upward trending channel. The MACD, excuse me, the 9 and the 20 is just about to cross If in this space. It could be very interesting for the course of the next couple of days with Terra Luna Classic, even the next 8 to 12 hours as we start to see this push towards the 50-day EMA. What we want to see is this break this point here and continue its journey up to test this upward channel. Breaking 11.5 would be a key point. I think if we break 11.5, we could be in for a nice ride up into some of these higher levels on Terra Luna Classic. Now, volume would need to increase, but you can see that 1.66 is absolutely outperforming the market. And as we see the news of the UST receive repeg come out, this can only be a positive sentiment. And finally, in other news, we do see the continuation of our USTC pool in the community pool. Obviously, we paid for the Terra Rebels infrastructure for the next three months. You see there, 305 million, and we paid for the L1 task force team with that new Cosmo senior developer on board. So what we want to see is this starting to move up, building this community pool back up to ensure that we've got longevity for both development. And what I think I would like to see is even a level of marketing, professional, well-done marketing, supporting both what can be built out on the applications that we can build and a number of other factors. And I think if we see this start to move, it could be a very, very interesting day. But all in all, a really solid day for 
Terra Luna Classic a good amount of burns. We have another burn coming up with Binance. Volumes on the increase and the price up 1.5%. So all in all, a pretty solid day for Terra Luna Classic. Let me know in the comments down below. What's your view? Do you think, uh, excuse me, what do you think the Binance burn will be? It's always good to have these competitions. I'm going in about 2.5 billion. Let me know in the comments. And don't forget, subscribe, smash a like on this video. Let's send it far and wide. Let's let everybody know that the Luna Classic ecosystem is still here, still strong. And we are absolutely sending it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.